What's up guys? Today is demo day. We're gonna be knocking this house down right here. But let me give you guys a quick walkthrough. I'll show you what the structure looks like and then we'll get rocking and rolling. My plan of attack is I'm gonna bring the 80 up here, the, demolish this section first, basically pile everything up on this slab um, as much as we can. This, this stuff usually condenses pretty good and then we'll see how much we can pile up on this side. And we've got quite a bit of water down there. So, long story short, he was gonna have an addition put on the house and uh, he had issues with the contractor and they ran into other problems so that's, that, that halted construction and then they decided, you know what, we're just gonna tear the whole thing down. I think the house was built like the late 1800s. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. They got into this. We had a couple bad storms. Some of the foundation got undermined and you can see there's a lot of settling and cracks and you know, things started going awry pretty quick from what I understand. Come upstairs. This is the room that's kind of just free hanging. So I'm not gonna go in there. You see all the cracks and stuff in the ceiling. We went through and we ripped out some of the baseboard heaters and some of the, you know, the copper that was in here. I had this little loft area. And then this area, this area is all stone. So the stone, I probably won't knock this down right away because we'll save this to go with the concrete. You know, that's gonna be one of the tough parts about this is keeping the, you know, the wood debris and everything else separated from the, from the concrete and stone. But we'll do as best we can. All right, time to get rocking and rolling. So I almost forgot, we started demoing the house. You can see we knocked out, knocked down that side there. But the homeowner, he wanted to save these big windows. He's not sure if he's gonna use them or not, but we need to get them out of here. It's a little bit treacherous to go across this way. So I think I have an idea.
Cause, yeah, because it's kind of heavy. Can we go flat now? Yeah, I think so. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. So I wanted to try to get this overhang on the other side of this wall because we're going to leave this wall till the end since that's going to go with the concrete. But I don't think it's going to work out. It's just, it's so massive. I don't see any way to make it, make it flip it over in one piece. So we're going to give this a uh, lone standing post here that seems to be holding all the weight, a little karate chop and we'll, we'll see what happens. So it looks like we got pretty lucky. That big piece came down, it looks like it hit right here and, and mainly the back of the bucket area. Could have been worse. I should have been more careful, but what are you gonna do? Our first dumpster just arrived. I'm getting ready to start getting this thing loaded up. As I'm grabbing the debris, I'm gonna be kind of munching it and throwing it in there, packing it down with the bucket, trying to make sure we get as much as we can in there. 
with this stuff there's a lot of dead space you know so you try to make the pieces as small as possible to eliminate as much dead space as you can show you guys our progress we went through and got a large amount well most of the debris cleared out of here we're gonna get the mini over here get this little bit that's left in this trench and then the skid steer we'll just drop it right here and we'll end up scooping it and throwing that in the dumpster I think this is gonna be our last dumpster right now what I'm getting ready to do I'm gonna bust out the top here these rocks both sides get those window frames out of there and then we're just going to demolish this wall and start putting all of our, our concrete right here in this pile.
have some triaxles coming tomorrow and that's what we're going to do we're going to get this loaded out in triaxles you know the goal is to get somewhere between six and eight loads out of here um i think i think it'll really just determine how long it takes us to load them which he'll back right up to the machine and i'll just be picking pieces and placing them in and Corey will probably use the skid steer and get some rubble and stuff and dump that over the side that's the plan um but yeah we'll see how many it's definitely going to be at least two days of trucking So I had to go and pick up a hammer from the local rental yard, Best Line Equipment. Those guys are pretty good over there. I need that to, to break up this hot tub. On Friday, today's Monday, uh, we tried my, uh, my handheld jackhammer, and this concrete is, there's a lot of rebar in here, and it's super hard. It's, it's definitely like 5,000 PSI or some sort of mix that's harder than normal. So hopefully it's not too much uh, for that hammer over there. I don't expect it to be. These sides are really thick though. They're three feet this way and almost two feet that way um, because it's the wall and then the seating area. So it's solid from here to, I don't know, about right here. Maybe it's not quite two feet, maybe it's 18. Um, but we'll see here ju in just a second. And then also the front porch for whatever reason, they loaded that with rebar. I'll, I'll peck a whole bunch of holes in that, and then I'll just, you know, start folding it over, and I'll probably have to cut some rebar, you know, with the grinder or bolt cutters, whatever. Um, it won't be that big of a deal. The rebar can go with the concrete, because the people who make crushed concrete out of it have a, a conveyor that actually separates the metal, so that's not a big deal. I don't have to go crazy with getting it out i'll just cut out some pieces like long pieces like that so i don't have to worry about them getting tangled up in the bucket or anything but let's get started on this guy right here So it's taken me about one hour and I finally broke through. Would you look at that? 
hopefully this will start breaking down a lot easier now i don't know though this thing is it's crazy strong guys this one's pretty much wrapped up as you can see all the debris and concrete is out of here we did a rough grade trying to get rid of some of the uh, the big drop-offs we didn't go too crazy with getting it level he, he still needs to figure out where the house is gonna sit um, and they're gonna be doing some digging here you know digging out for the basement possibly a crawl space uh, up top you can see is still real rough we didn't go too crazy up there because we're going to be running a water line from the well which is right there the water and electric line from there to the garage we're going to go around those two rocks and up the side over there where that ladder is i'm going to make that a separate video though we were going to start digging a trench today but we're supposed to get like two inches of rain on saturday tomorrow so i didn't want to have that trench open um but otherwise everything else is pretty much done there's still minimal debris left around you can see like a couple random pieces of brick um, we might go through and pick up some of these by hand but again they're going to be excavating this area out so it's really not that big of a deal over here we got to reconnect the sore line that was for the septic we're going to address that when we uh, deal with the with the well lines that'll be next week to let you guys know 
you know what it took we took out i think nine dumpsters for the debris for the house each one was over right those have a four ton limit most of them were six to seven tons and a lot of that had to do with the plaster and everything that was you know there's an old construction house um and then as far as concrete goes it was a lot of concrete it was 12 triaxle loads of concrete and field stone insane you figure each one carries about i don't know 20 to 25 tons let's say so you do that math it was a lot of concrete but all in all everything worked out pretty good i haven't talked to the homeowner yet but i'm sure he should be happy with everything this project has been ongoing for a while for him and now the ball is rolling in the right direction for him to start getting the house built oh the scrap for those of you that followed you know saw the other video and wanted to know how much no one was that close surprisingly it was it was about 500 pounds and uh, uh we've got paid about three dollars a pound you know some of it some of it was number two copper some of it was number one but anyways it was like 1500 bucks which was pretty good i was i was surprised those gutters really added up and then we had a secondary pile that Corey was stockpiling because there was radiant heat in this side of the house and that tubing was coming out it was all copper lines and uh that ended up being like another 500 bucks but it was a decent amount of, of effort and work to get that stuff out of there so it's not really you know i don't know if i want to call it an added bonus because it does take some time and you know compared to just grabbing it and stuffing it in the dumpster you know you're kind of shaking it and sorting through in it so it does slow you down a little bit but i couldn't throw all of it in the dumpster but yeah the water line we're going to be running it's going to be coming right into here they have a little utility room right here underground we're going to go around this little part of the driveway or maybe i'll talk to ken and see what he says we don't have to rip it up it's not that big of a deal for us just to go around this way to the well but stay tuned for that video and also next week we're doing an in-ground pool removal or demolition if you will and we'll be back here after that's done um getting that trench in and doing some final cleaning up but thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one